CataractCoach.com, trabeculotomy in congenital glaucoma. So treating the congenital glaucoma in this very young patient. Now, as you know, on Cataract Coach, we have all anterior segment surgery, including cataract, cornea, uh, glaucoma, refractive, and more. So here you go. Traction surgery being placed here. A little conjunctival pyramid being performed here. Westcott scissors and some forceps. And now injection of probably some lidocaine with epinephrine for some hemostasis. Hey, let me tell you about our podcast. It's the top podcast in all of ophthalmology for a reason. We teach you the secrets to success to have a better career. Check it out. Anyway, back to our case here. Very careful dissection. You can see obviously a very, very young patient, congenital glaucoma. Remember though, this surgery is going to help a lot, but it's just the beginning of the journey. This patient needs to be closely monitored and followed for many, many years to come here. So now that you've got a nice pyridomy being done there, let's see what's going on here. Maybe that's a uh, you think that's a little bit, oh, probably from, from epinephrine. So look at that vasoconstriction by applying it there. So that looks good. Maybe a little bit of cautery as well. That looks great. Just gentle on the cautery here. Now remember, we've got to access that trabecular meshwork and open it up. We've got to open up Schlem's canal here. So here we go, creating a scleral flap, about half scleral depth. The traction suture is really very helpful in this case. Obviously, the patient's under general anesthesia this young patient, now using this curved blade to create that half scleral depth groove there. There we go. And cutting that across, creating the whole flap. I tend to do the whole thing like this with a crescent blade instead of using this type of blade, but whatever you've got, obviously, you're going to use. And once you're done here, let's see what we got next. Very carefully done. I like the care taken in the dissection to really make it very pretty, very precise. And I guess let's find out, like an 11 blade perhaps, cutting across here. And remember, you want about half scleral depth. And now we need to basically cannulate the trabecular meshwork and Schlem's canal here. So here we go, cutting across. Looks good. And let's see, here comes the action. Now, slowly, slowly cutting down. You've got to be very careful here. Pushing left and right just to make sure, are we in the right spot yet? And you should see a little bit of outflow of aqueous. And once you see that, you know you're in the right spot. You can go inside here now and cannulate it very carefully. And this should go right around pretty easily. If there's a lot of resistance, you may not be in the correct plane. So you want to rethink that. Maybe try again. Go the other direction. So it really should go through pretty smoothly. Now, why are there two prongs there? Well, it's to show you where the other prong is inside there. Oh, here we go. Now look what we've got here. We've got a, a proline suture with a knot being created. Oh, look at that. The, the, circumscribing the cornea so you know, and then causing a little bend there. Ah, oh, very nicely done. So this is going to be done with a suture now for a full 360. You know, the traditional teacher was to use that instrument and just cut across on left and right sides. And now this time, look, you're going to pass the suture all the way around. There's the proline 50 edge. And remember, this surgeon was so smart that there was a kink placed in the suture at the completion of going around 360. Oh my gosh, this is so smart. You know, I'm watching the video for the first time with you. There's that kink, there it is. Fantastic, so pull the two ends through and now look, pull across and you will unroof it 360. The suture should come across. Wow, beautifully done here. Now there are other devices to, to be used here that can work as well in this situation, but I really like this suture technique here. That looks fantastic. Now look at that, a lot better flow of the aqueous here. Now see this flap down, beautiful, wow. That was very interesting. I really like, that's a very innovative technique. I like the idea. I said, okay, you're gonna pass this 5 proline around, and so how much do we pass around? And then marking the suture by putting a kink in it, a bend in it, that was super smart. You learn something new every day, including me. I keep learning. Now suturing down this flap here, and that looks good. And then the other side as well. And then remember, again, this is just the beginning for this patient. You're going to have to monitor this patient very closely over the course of many years. But I think this should go a long ways in helping the patient. As you know, studies have shown variable success rates in this. And so with time, these tend not to uh, keep working to the same degree. So again, following the patient. And the reality is this patient will probably have multiple procedures in his or her lifetime. So there you go, flap suture down. Yep, bury those sutures. Get those knots buried. You don't want that exposed. And then now here, going to suture up here. You probably want to use probably like a, 
I'd say a small gauge Vicryl so that it can dissolve on its own because you don't want to have to bring the child back to the operating room to remove a suture. And obviously a baby of this age, you're not going to be able to remove it in the clinic on your own. So suture going down there, tying this up. And then again, hard to tell exactly what suture that is. There's one on that side and maybe close up the other. You definitely want to get this completely watertight. And again, there you can see that traction suture in the corner has really made this a lot easier. And here we go on the other side as well. It looks like con sclera conge. So to really t- uh, tighten that down and really have a secure fit. And let's see the final closure here. Tie that up. And this is why I tell you, when you're a young doctor, you got to practice suturing in the wet lab. You've got to have great skills. This surgeon obviously has beautiful skills. Now, look at that. That looks fantastic. So remember, on Cataract Coach, I have a whole section about glaucoma cases, a ton of them. So if you're interested in learning glaucoma cases, Cataract Coach is not just cataract. It's everything anterior segment. So remember, leave YouTube for a second. Check out the cataractcoach.com website. And again, you will learn a lot, and we'll all learn together.